We have a, uh, an interesting uh, program for you tonight. My first guest, this is the gentleman I spoke to you about a couple of minutes ago. He is an uh, artist based in Los Angeles, California. Two of his most popular works are entitled Blinky the Friendly Hen and the Cultural Ties. He will explain both of these projects. Welcome, please, Jeffrey Valance. <laughs> I must say, uh, regardless of what it is that this turns out to be, I love the name Blinky the Hen. I think that's a fine title for a, a collection of, I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? Well, thanks a lot, yeah. Is this conceptual art? Is that a fair description of this? I think you could call it conceptual art. I'm not sure exactly what to call it, but I think that comes closest. All right. This would not be, like, in the area of fine art. Well, it's fine art, but it's fine, I guess, fine conceptual art. Or you might call it an on-site piece, because Blinky... Is a, you can go visit it. Oh, you can actually, okay, all right. Now tell us, and, and everybody else, what, uh, what this is, Blinky the Friendly Hen. Well, what I did is uh, I went shopping at Ralph's supermarket, and I bought a frozen chicken in a plastic bag, and then I took it to the L.A. Pet Cemetery and made a, a burial of it, a, a, a formal burial. All right. And we have some photos to document your, your work. <laughs> All right, Jeffrey, what can you tell us? I guess this is pretty much what you just described there, huh? This right, is you uh, selecting Blinky. This is at Ralph, and you see all the frozen chickens lined up there, and I picked out one that I thought uh, should be buried. All righty. Now, this is step number two. And this is a close-up view of Blinky. You can see it's, it's still frozen a little bit. Uh-huh. But not a bad looking, looks like about a four or five pounder. If, yeah, it's a very happy chicken. All right. Now, this is at the L.A. Pet Cemetery. I ordered the complete service, including the viewing room, which you see here, and a powder blue casket, a flower urn, and a grave marker. And at this point right here, Blinky was starting to thaw, and there was this, <laughs> there was this pink spotlight on it. And the people at the mortuary put a paper towel on Blinky so that the moisture wouldn't seep into the satin. Oh, that's nice. That's a terrible thing to have happen to a loved one, though, to see them thaw like yeah, that. To make a mess. Now, this is Blinky's uh, powder blue coffin, and that's a little flower urn, and it's just before they load it into the ground. Now, uh, Jeffrey, when you took Blinky, or the remains of Blinky in there, did anybody question you or ask you, why do you have a frozen chicken here, or how did it die, or...? Yes, uh, I'll, t I'll tell you what I did. What I did is went to the bank and got uh, cash. $100 bill. So I paid for the whole thing in advance, and I left Blinky in the car in a box. So I had signed all the forms before they ever saw what the chicken looked like. And the, the, the man comes out and gets Blinky and takes it in the back room. Then he comes walking out and he goes, how did your chicken die? So I, <laughs> so I was very truthful, and I didn't say, I didn't make up anything. I just said, I'm not sure how it died. One day it just died. Uh -huh. And so, they, that was no problem for them? <laughs> that was the only question they asked. And it didn't concern them that the Blinky had been frozen and, and uh, dressed for, for a <laughs> no. picnic or whatever that... <laughs> <laughs> they never asked about that. All right, let's see, where, what are we up to? Okay, you showed us that. That's yeah. a little uh, coffin and sort of... Does this come with perpetual maintenance and, and everything? Yes, it does. Yeah, they, they mow the lawn and, and uh, change the flowers and everything. Is this the, the one off the Ventura Freeway in Calabasas? Yes, yes. All right, I've seen that. And uh, it's a big place, isn't it? Yeah. All right. This is, uh, this is Blinky's uh, grave marker. Bring Blinky. Hen, yeah. And uh, at, the, at the pet cemetery, you always have to have a little line underneath the your, your animal's name. Like, sometimes people say, our little loved one, or daddy's little baby, or something. So I came up with the friendly hen. Well, I like that. I think that's a, a fitting tribute yeah. to, to Blinky. Okay, and then now this is interesting. This is what all of this cost you. Here's the expenses. All right, this is the itemization of the expenses. And, uh, <laughs> now this, this, uh, Jeffrey, this... <laughs> This heading here of meat, would, <laughs> would that be the friendly hand? That's, that's Blinky. That's the friendly hand, all right. And that, so 217, now the lot, this is interesting. This yeah. is relatively, uh, depending on how you look at it, inexpensive yeah. or just a ghastly expense. $55 for the casket, interment, $55. Now the vase? That was free. No yeah. charge, yeah. all right. The, the, the marker was $62.40 for, so you buried a, a a fryer for about <laughs> two and a quarter. Yeah. Now, uh, do 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 you go back and visit Blinky? 
Yes, I visit Blinky on the holidays, uh, especially on Christmas. I have a special Christmas tree that I put up each year that's all decorated with little birds and things. Uh -huh. That's very nice. <laughs> do, do other people come and admire the, the, the stone and so forth? Yes, they do. The people at the Pet cemetery come almost every weekend, and I go and meet them. And some of these people, you know, every, every week they said they're going to come and pray for Blinky. Well, that's very nice. All right, now, uh, so that's, that's the story of Blinky the Friendly Hen. Now, the other uh, project that I mentioned is uh, correspondence art. Tell us about that. Okay, correspondence art, it deals with the mails. And I want to get a response by writing a letter to somewhere, in, any place in the world, different things I try each time. For instance? Well, for instance, right here I happen to have this uh, piece that I worked on not too long ago called Cultural Ties. And what I did was write the leader of every nation and send, send them a necktie, and I said that this tie represents the cultural ties between nations and friendship and whatever. Uh -huh. And I asked them uh, to do a cultural exchange and send me their personal necktie that they've worn. This one happens to be King Hussein's. Oh, really? But yeah, yeah. So it's a very nice tie. Now, you want, you want to show us the other ties here? Yeah. Okay, we're, let, let's tell you what, Jeff, let's do a commercial and then okay. we'll come back and take a look at the rest of the, this gentleman's ties here. We're talking about correspondence art and we'll be right back.